And then he felt so helped by that that he grabbed some of his co-workers, other actors on the show. And they had very little understanding or exposure to the gospel. And so in all of our conversations, uh, I was able to really go to the heart of uh, what the gospel really is. My name is Greg Van Court, and I'm the senior pastor of a Reformed Baptist church in the center of Austin, Texas, in my 13th year of uh, pastoral ministry. You got involved with The Chosen, and that was such a fascinating story. I'm wondering if you could just describe how that happened, what that looked like. Sure, absolutely. So it was definitely God at work. I was um, at a, a music concert in Rogers, Arkansas on, on vacation in July of 2021. And uh, just uh, open seating uh, on the lawn outdoors and happened to sit down to a fella who I struck up a conversation with. And it uh, turns out he had just recently moved to my city of Austin. And so we exchanged numbers and said, when we get back to Austin, uh, why don't we grab coffee and get to know each other? And so uh, we did that and found out once we got back to Austin and connected, uh, he told me that he was an actor and uh, he played uh, one of the disciples on this show called The Chosen. I'd never watched this show. I'd heard a little bit about it, but I'd never seen it. And so uh, anyway, I said, how you know coincidental that you play a disciple of Jesus. I am a disciple of Jesus. And uh, we uh, began to talk about the, uh, his show. And I was a little bit leery actually of watching the show because of um, you know so many Christian uh, things out there are pretty cheesy. Uh, I didn't want to tell him, you know, that uh, I didn't like his show, but uh, I did go and I, I watched it and I was very impressed. It was uh, the artistry, the acting, the writing is very smart. Uh, I enjoyed it. And so uh, we began to to talk about um, his character. Uh, he played uh, the Apostle Philip. And um, as he received uh, the script for season three, uh, he was confused about what was going on with his character, began running some things by me, and I had some insights for him just knowing scripture. And uh, that led to him uh, calling Dallas Jenkins up on the phone, asking if uh, he could have permission to get a copy of the script of this new uh, season three, which was still being edited uh, into my hands and let me to uh, continue to sort of read and give input on that, which was so exciting for me. I got to do that and uh, help him uh, with his character. And then he felt so helped by that, that he grabbed some of his uh, co-workers, other actors on the show, and actually brought them down to Austin. We had a dinner. Uh, there were three other guys, um, Austin, uh, who plays Nathaniel, George, who plays John, and Giovanni, who plays Thaddeus. Uh, and this was Yoshi, who played uh, Philip. Uh, the four of us got together and had dinner and were able to talk uh, more about the show. And it was just fascinating to me, um, you know, the Christian worldview, which was once so ubiquitous, it seems to be vanishing from a lot of uh, our country and our culture. And these guys, they're not believers. They weren't raised in Christian homes and they had very little understanding or exposure to the gospel. And so in all of our conversations, uh, I was able to uh, to really go to the heart of uh, what the gospel really is. It's super exciting uh, to me because the, um, here, here are people who are uh, wanting to, um, you know, really succeed in, in Hollywood and, and, and be uh, able to support themselves as actors. And they take their role very seriously. And of course, the role that they're playing is a biblical role. And so they hate, um, like just one story, uh, uh, the guy who plays uh, Nathaniel Austin uh, had heard uh, Jonathan Rumi uh, practicing some lines. And one of them was talking about, uh, unless uh, a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it cannot bear fruit. And he said he's just been puzzling over that and what does that mean and wanted to know and so i was able to really uh, explain uh, what that parable means and um, get to the heart of the gospel so many many conversations around um, just uh, what they're being exposed to in the script uh, in their preparation for their characters uh, leads to be able to talk about you know the um, the truth of, of what it is that they're portraying.
how can we share the gospel with people who God just randomly puts in our path? And maybe they're people who, you know, are very different from us, come from very different backgrounds. Yeah, I think it's actually easier now because um, we don't have uh, the Christian worldview undergirding all of society. Uh, and so I would tell other believers out there, don't assume that the person next to you knows what the gospel is and even knows about the death and resurrection of Jesus. Uh, some very basic things are just not known anymore. And I'm constantly surprised, even when I was talking to some of the actors on The Chosen, uh, they didn't know where the story was going. And mm -hmm. when I began to you know, talk to them about their characters and how they're going to uh, scatter and abandon you know, Jesus in his darkest day, uh, they, they didn't understand that there was going to be a betrayal and a crucifixion and said, um, uh, one of them said, well, this show is going to get pretty dark <laughs> and just didn't know. And so I think that there's uh, opportunities um, to... Uh, share some real basic facts about the gospel, Jesus's virgin birth and life and death and resurrection, ascension and coming again, um, just some very basic Christian truths that are um, maybe uh, have never even uh, been heard before by people. And, and I have found people more open to discussing those kinds of things uh, rather than being turned off. Uh, they're, they're, they're genuinely interested. So uh, like in my situation with meeting Yoshi, it was just at a music concert. And so if uh, I, I really love music, if there's some interest that you have, whether it be uh, art and going to a museum, or uh, I think that there's always so many opportunities to talk to people and uh, just take time to get to know them and love them. And uh, it's easy to go from there to talking about Jesus. I have a question for you. Yes. 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 If you enjoy videos that follow your values like ours and you want to help us continue, uh, go to movieguide.org slash donate because we're actually a nonprofit. You may not know that, but we're working in Hollywood every day to help families have more choices that follows their values. And also subscribe right now.